Many people contend that electric cars are costly. However, this perception is based on their search criteria and personal preferences. While expensive high-end electric vehicles like the Rivian R1T, Ford F-150 Lightning, and GMC Hummer EV are available, the whole auto industry has been taken aback by a $2,000 electric pickup truck. We give you a brief introduction to the Changli electric pickup truck in this video. In addition to being visually appealing, electric vehicles also offer an exciting driving experience because to their powerful torque and quick acceleration. Your eardrums will enjoy how silently they function as well. Additionally, owning an electric automobile is more cost-effective because energy is typically more affordable than gasoline for charging. Additionally, their lesser maintenance needs result in maintenance cost reductions. The ability to charge an electric automobile at home is one of the most practical features of having one. But the main criticism of electric vehicles is their high price. These zero-emission cars are typically far more expensive than those powered by internal combustion engines. The pricey battery is the main cause of this. The aforementioned luxury Hummer EV, for instance, can cost more than $100,000. Even the Ford F-150 Lightning, which has a 230-mile driving range, costs $40,000 to purchase. For many people, this price range is still rather excessive. However, if you look into other electric vehicle possibilities, you might find one that is significantly less expensive than you had anticipated. For instance, the Changli electric truck costs an astounding $2,000 in China. Although you might be dubious about it, the Changli electric pickup truck is in fact real. In addition, the Changli was already for sale before many other businesses could introduce their first electric trucks, even debuting before the Rivian R1T. Like Rivian R1T and Tesla EVs, you can order the Changli online and have it delivered to your home. Even more enhancements can be added to your order to suit your preferences. The Changli electric truck comes with a ton of unexpected features that you wouldn't anticipate from a car with such a low price tag. Despite being a miniature truck with a length of only 10 feet, it has all the necessary truck parts and more. It includes a hydraulic dump bed, electric windows, seat belts for the two people sitting in it, and even a rear view camera. You have the option of upgrading your air conditioning if you reside in a temperate environment. Despite its diminutive size, the Changli's compactness is helpful for shipping because it can be crammed into a container with other cars, drastically lowering shipping costs. When compared to a typical golf cart, the Changli is a far better option because golf carts frequently cost between $7,000 and $9,000 while offering less protection from the weather. Even when driving in the rain, you will be warm and dry thanks to the Changli's roof. It also has an entertainment system control screen, a radio with Bluetooth connectivity, and a hydraulic-powered bed for simple cargo transportation. The Changli provides air conditioning, unlike golf carts. The Changli outperforms expectations in terms of performance given the cost. It has a single electric motor located at the back that has a 3 kilowatt output. A top speed of 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers per hour, is made possible by this power. While it can't be compared to a Tesla, it can nevertheless handle difficult terrain and be useful for projects like waste delivery or landscaping. In cases where your driveway is distant from your house, it can even be a useful choice for getting the mail. Let's now talk about the Changli electric pickup truck's range. This brings up the battery's most important feature. It's a little unfortunate that the battery is not included in the Changli's base price of $2,000 for the device. There is a bright side, though. You are able to select the battery based on your requirements and financial constraints. The Changli comes with a variety of battery options. The first is a bulky lead-acid battery, which is the more common but less appealing choice. As an alternative, you can choose the lithium-ion battery pack with a 500 watt-hour capacity, which offers a 3 kilowatt-hour range. 
A larger 5 kWh lithium-ion battery is available for $710 for individuals who need extra range. For $1,050, the Changli also sells a 6 kWh battery if you're ready to spend a little more. Despite the Rivian R1T's above 100 kWh battery capacity, it's necessary to take into account the cost. The Changli's top lithium-ion battery option allows for a driving range of up to 50 km on a single charge. The issue of where you may legally drive the Changli electric pickup truck must be addressed, though. The rules and legislation change depending on where you are. The Changli, which has a top speed of 25 miles per hour, is classified as a low-speed or neighborhood electric vehicle in some places. Because of this, you can easily move around your area, run errands, and visit neighbors even though you can't drive it on highways or compete with bigger cars. It's important to keep in mind that the Changli is not road legal as it was imported from China if you intend to use it in the United States. This is difficult because the Changli has parts like lights, mirrors, turn signals, brakes, and seat belts that, on paper, comply with the standards for roadworthiness. The final vehicle maker must be registered with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, and furnish a US-compliant VIN. Despite the fact that many of these components are not purchased from DOT-certified sources. However, depending on the particular rules in your area, there may be workarounds. For instance, you might be able to go through a conversion process where you add the appropriate DOT-approved parts in the state of Florida. The next step is to apply for a state-issued VIN. You can enjoy the thrill of operating your very own Changli electric pickup truck if you're willing to go through these processes. Now, we can't ignore the critical issue of the Changli's robustness and endurance. Please share your opinions on the topic in the comments box below.